Welcome to the Educational School of Crashing Mans for the Discerning Gentleman. Today I'm going to learn you the ABCs of Crashing Mans. And then we'll have a contest. First prize is a hammer. Second prize is a puny hammer. Third prize is you get crushed. But what if the mans are too strong? The mans are too strong? No, you're just a puny. Oh no. Third prize. But what if you have a crush on the mans? Crush on the mans? No, you crush the mans. Third prize! I'm the last one left. Does that mean I get first prize? You get second prize because I get first prize. Again. Remember your ABCs. A always. B B C crashing. Always be crashing. Special thanks to David M. and David M. for sponsoring today's episodes. No dot. No dot. No dot. No dot, what are you doing? Uh, anywho, it's episode time. What is this dopey cat doing now? What the dopey cat? All right, boys, we're back, and it's time to crash some shrats into the ground. We chop them. You know what we chop them with is axes. It'll go. I want to make sure every single person has an axe. We've been carrying these things around for 400 years. Oh, never mind. Did that all wrong there. There we go. We've been carrying these around for a long time, but at long last, they appear to be actually doled out pretty well. Uh, for everyone else in the back row, we're not going to need javelins, so we'll go with uh, sticky sticks. Sticky sticks and sticky sticks. All right, this looks pretty good. Now, we need to heal up from the last fight where I was a kind of a silly dumb and took way too long fighting the shrats because I didn't have any axes like a dopey. So we'll just heal until we run out of um, tools. We'll see what, you know what? The, can I make these shrats go the other way? Can I, if I go in front of them, will they turn around and be like, oh no, yes, there we go. Controlling the AI with skill, friends. What the heck is this down here now? Uh, we're just about out of tools. I want to attack them during, well, I guess the daytime. Okay, there they are. We're down to two tools. Camp up as much as we possibly can. And let's do it. Let's do it. And we're in the fields perfect. I don't want to attack them in the forest either. That would be mighty frustrating. Oh, elevation, you say. Hey, Shratzies. Ooh, interesting that they're taking these locations. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I can do with this, but I think I can do something. Mm, you know what? If I don't Indomitable, we can get the thing off entirely this turn. So we'll do that. Mother can take a one-time fun time. A one-time fun time, as they say. And then Toodle Frutal. Meanwhile, ooh, we could have Lo now. Nah, Logan doesn't have the armor necessarily to go taunt that guy, so we need to go someplace where we're not going to get multiple attacks. Right there, it looks perfect. Hobo's doing good work over here. We can literally just shield wall at this point. I don't think we even. Well, mm, you know what? We might need the Indomitable. I don't think so though. Forty-two hit points should be sufficient with one something armor. Ooh, Ozark. Beautiful. Kill a guy, get a frenzy, make a new guy, do some damage. Beautiful. Show me your moves. Oh, poor Gage. Yeah, see, Gage can't get hit. Guy's a champ. He did have a 22% chance. 22%? Come on. That's a joke. Whoopsie days, I didn't mean to go. One, two, three, okay, we're still fine. 
This thing regrew its shield. Interesting. Well, that's not really going to help it very much, because Puriel's right here, and its shield is gone. Thanks for playing, friend. Oh, Gage! Woo! We don't even need a decapitate that time. This tree's getting sad! We're murdering all his friends! Poor tree! Roots just love to hit Gage. Bobo's got a 22. Ooh, Gage did get hit that time. In the head, it looked like. All right, so now Gage is... We can just rotate Gage out. It's fine. We'll do that after we break this guy's shield off. And have some fun times with him. I'm gonna try to run this, run this attack so I can do this. I'm going to use Gage before we rotate him out. Although ideally I'm going to have to have Puriel run down and up to take care of it properly. However... Oh, Gage. What are you doing? Okay, down and up so Gage is no longer in jeopardy. Cannot be hit there by any trees. Did this thing already go? It goes in four turns. No, we're gonna have to wait for it a smidgy. Let's see what it does. Regrowth, no surprise. Um, Hobo's being surrounded by two things now. It may be time for the Indomitable. Next turn, we're gonna have to do other stuff, so... We need another tank over there. ASAPs, as they say. Yep. Ooh, that's bad. Hobo got hit now. I do have the Indomitable up this turn, but now he's probably one-shotable. If he, if he doesn't have Indomitable up. So Ozark got hit, he's down to seven. All right, he's in the same kind of predicable predicament, rather. So we should be able to taunt the tree, no problem. Using Puriel now. As long as... Someone's not two tiles away. That was the old the old mechanic. It would attack someone two tiles away over someone else. Peteriel needs to get the taunt in. Also, I want to break this guy's shield. Awesome. And I suppose Logan could go over there for next turn against the little guy. There it is. Oh, Hobo didn't even get hit for hit points. I thought that he did. Never mind, so we're perfectly fine then. Unless the little sapling hits him again. Let's see if the new taunt actually works. The new or the way the trees are now. They should attack Puriel. Or this big one anyway should. Yep. Ooh, 37 hits a 7. Okay, well, uh, it works. Eddie, well, I mean, technically, we didn't give him a, a, a target that was two tiles away and straight, but still. Seems like it does the thing it's supposed to do. And in the meantime, we win. All right. So what do we get for that? 100 experience, and a level on Hobo, and three Ancient Woods! I suppose? Heart of the Forest, Heart of the Forest, Glowing Resin, three Ancient Woods? Oh, that means I think we can make two more... Wait. No, I think that means we can make one more thing. I think you need uh, Glowing Resins for those. So, uh, we have zero tools. Like, literally, absolutely zero. There's nothing else here to buy. We could yoink this food, at least. Uh, to the north, to restock tools, to repair stuff, to sell, to turn this quest in, now that we've finally actually done it to some extent. And then, noble quest time, friends! The heck? I don't know what that is. It's gotta be bar- well, I don't know what it is, actually. I was gonna say it's gotta be barbarians. It doesn't. 
No idea. So something big, whatever it was, went into the Boar Woods. On foot. Whoa! These guys are attack- Hold on the phone, friends. If I joined in this frigging melee, we could get some loots. But it would take a long time. We'd have to make enemies. Who are they fighting right now, is my question. Some footmen, some buildings, some are molester. Okay, never mind. They don't have any uh, bosses of sorts. And yeah, look how fast they got wrecked. Ooh, the militia came out as well. What the heck is this? A merchant of flesh, a profiteer of good poundings. These here are my wares. So what say ye, friends? How about you just hand over your valuables instead? Never mind. Just get out of here. Oh, no! Imperial Brian and Victor are mad. They didn't get the... The free poundings, as they say. So I want to come in here and I don't want to fight, but I want to go into the town to trade. Okay, good. Looks like... I think they cleared it up. Done. Oh, what a mess that was. Noble quest here. But these tools are stupidly expensive. We'll buy the roots, though. And you know what? We're at the taxidermist. Living tree shield. Sure, we'll craft one up. Hobo, we got your shield back, friend. Let's give you a level up as well. Boom. Boom. And a Boom. Where the heck was his shield? Right there? Awesome. Okay, everyone's like really dissatisfied. No tools, tons of wounds. Let's get out of here. To our old home in Hammerstead. Four hexen now. A hex, a few shrats. Alright, no thank you. I mean, technically we have the quest for it, but... Look at our wounds right now. Everyone's at like half health. We have no repairs. Everything's just dead. I wouldn't mind. You know what? Maybe I can bait them up here, buy the tools, repair, and then actually fight them tomorrow. Probably not. Yeah, let's go straight to Hammer Den to turn this quest in and buy our tools, because that's where they are. Thousand crowns. What's the noble quest? Don't mind the noise. This damn war with House Berenger. Hmm. He wants reinforcements, he says. 2760, move to the war camp and report to Sir Emmerich. Assist in the army in their battle against House Beringer. Well, I mean, they're not really the, my, my number one target right now. These guys want me to go to Schneefels. Everyone wants me to go to Schneefels all the time. And they have basically nothing because of the unhold attacks, I suppose. Please tell me they have tools. Yep, a little bit. Salt, salt. Stuff. Um, we could buy these arrows. They're not that cheap, though. Ooh, we are looking for hunters, no hunters. Let's go to Gemenberg. What's our noble quest here? We're up to still open with almonds. Beringer we're neutral with. If we attack Beringer though, we lose... Oh! No, we lose Olbstad is what we lose. Olbstad allied status. D does it really matter at this point since we have Hammerstead just about allied? How far is Hammerstead? Hammerstead's very friendly, just about allied. Someone asked me a long time ago how many kills I had, I never answered. Took part in 90 battles with 455 kills. <laughs> okay. Sure thing. We see they had nothing for guns and loot and ammo and stuff like that. But they do have one, two, three tools. Three arrows, some cheeses, some grains. That is not enough, friends. Let's repair everything we're going to sell. We're going to have to buy whatever price tools we have over here in Hammerstead. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Re-equip my guys. Ooh, there's some sort of undead ruckus afoot. 20 undead. Ah, it's just weed gang is. I have no interest. These guys want us to go kill some easy brigands for 420. It's the middle of the night time. You know what? Why not get our reputation up to allied or something like that? All the tracks west. Well, I guess why not? It's because they put it 7,000 miles out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Some raiders, a few marksmen. Okay. Is it even worth 420 golds? Eh.
Well, I can tell you this, fighting in the snow with a lot of people with movement debuffs, with the forest, <laughs> it's slow. In case you guys were wondering, hey, we got some kite shields though, an arming sword, a mace, uh, axe, not bad. Just a minor 10 minute detour. It's gonna take me another 10 minutes to edit, that's all. Don't worry about it, I kinda wanna go explore up here while I'm here, although I also wanna get back before night time so I can finally uh, buy the tools, which is the whole reason we came up to Hammerstead in the first place. Okay, now, just in time, let's check out the mans here. Thorbin! 3810. Mm. Very tempting. But I really don't need such a man. If I had like one extra slot, I might buy him. But then again, 3810 is kind of expensive. Considering our current uh, economic situation. There we go. Yo, 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 yoink. Every single tool in the town. Now we just clear out our inventory. Wow. 600 for Hearts of the Forest, huh? Really don't see myself using these hearts anytime soon. That's a fair bit of gold, too. Sell it all up. 6,300. Fantastic. I do see myself using the ancient woods to make one of the uh, tree shields or whatever the heck it is. And let's just make sure everything's marked for repairs. Beautiful. All right. I suppose it's time to take a quest and get on up out of here. Schneefels! Nah, I'm not going to Schneefels, guys. Stop. Did I just hit accept? No, I, I think I hit wait. Let's go back down here and take this noble quest that we had in uh, Hammer, Hammer Den. I think it's going to be for a noble engagement of some sort. What do we got? Move to the war camp. Assist the army. All right, you know what? I'm done. Let's do it. We're assisting the army, friends. Against the war, the house, the war against House Berenger is what I mean to say. Now, where the heck are these guys? Move. Oh, the war camp's over here. Okay, I thought it would be, like, down to the south near Berenger. We're pretty much angry with all of them, except we can still go talk with Albstadt, so there's that. You meet him in his map. He wants us to sit around and taking food from farmers southeast of here. Relinquish supplies at Pig Farm to the southeast. <laughs> all right, yes, we're in... Very, very uh, important business here, friends. Important business indeed. Oh, House Grimmond has taken Tolbeck from Bemager or Berenger. Uh, Tolbeck is down here. Interesting. Not that that makes much difference to me. Six unholds. Do I want to fight six unholds? Right now, I mean, right before we go fight a bunch of pig farmers. I mean, it would be a fair bit of loot, potentially, and they're really not going to be all that difficult, to be entirely honest. Eh, I don't, I don't want to get, get the wounds and then sit around for a hundred years being like, what's going on? I wonder what's over here. Now that we're at war with these guys, we can pick off like mercenaries and companies and whatever. We'll figure out what that is later. I'm actually pretty excited about this. At long last, we can farm some like real loot from some real guys. Although I also have to be very careful coming into a frigging castle in the middle of the night when they could spawn militia on top of my face. All right, friends, we're here at the pig farm. You'll sell us the food for 600. Are you insane? I don't understand nothing. Give me your food or you die. 16 peasants are coming out. Ozark, I hereby bequeath upon you the honor of peasant murder duty. I done hope you can murder them all, because you're gonna- everyone else is literally gonna run away, and we're gonna watch to see if Ozark can handle this, or he dies in the process. One of the two things, he's gonna get frigging nuggin bunked or pierced to death. Here, I'll sit up here on the hill and be like, I'll cheer Ozark on. Be like, woo, Ozark! Crash the beds! Crash the ball! All right, you can do it, Ozark. We believe in you. I'm actually going to leave him here and let all of them come to me. All right. It is time, friends, the, ch the Ozark challenge. Look at him. Look at him. They're like, oh, no, Ralph, you go in. He's like, I don't even have a weapon. I haven't even shaved this week. It's time for Ozark to show us how. To kill all the peasants in one shot. 
Crash the peasants! Mmm, very good, Ozark. Now, you need to make sure these peasants don't go somewhere else. Make sure they come to you. Everyone else retreats! It's Ozark versus everyone or nothing! Or maybe I should have waited so we could have- I didn't realize there were more over there. We could have done it again, actually. And there's also two Nuggin Bunkers we just moved next to. I'm forgetting how to play Lone Wolf, friends. I don't think Ozark even has recover, so... 20% chance for There it is! He done got bunked, friends! 20%! <laughs> I don't know if Ozark's ready. I don't know if he's fit for the challenge. Now he's getting punched in the noggin! Why, why am I making this part of the episode? This is literally... This could be a one-second scene. This is important business, friends. Important business. Ozark is actually surrounded by triple nuggin bunks right now. That's insane. He's got he's to withstand 20, 20, 20. They actually have much better aim now because they're all surrounding, too. They're rolling like 28s. He's got to withstand like 328 nuggin bunks with 75% stun chances. He's getting stunned, boys! Ooh, that guy hit, rolled a 41 and he missed. It's actually three 41s. Technically 641s, but they don't they don't double stun, so. Okay, here we go, Ozark. We believe in you. 41, 41, 41, 41! And then you know what that means, friends. 41, 41, 41. It's time for Ozark to not have the fatigue to kill anyone. I mean, he could still do it, but I'd be here to, like, all day, and I'd probably fall asleep in the process. <laughs> so, new plan! I mean, it was, a, it was a good idea, but we need recover, and... I, I had to sit there and let the guys come to me the first time. That's how it's done, Ozark. Technically, we could still just watch Ozark kill them all. One, two, three, four! Woo! Oh, okay, that was pretty cool. I have to say, that was pretty cool, Ozark. It wasn't, like, exactly what I was going for in the Ozark challenge, but, eh, honorary mention for her showing up and passively killing all the guys by mistake. Well, boys, I know everyone tunes in to Lone Wolf episode 15 to watch Elite Mercenaries murder peasants and, indeed, collect fanciful loots. So I'm sure this is best episode all time. The fools! Alright, back we go. Return to the water camp. <laughs> that was the dumbest quest. Ooh, more tools, more salt, more grains, more arrows. Be Hammer Den is just a beautiful little place, I have to be honest. I really like it a lot. There's like nothing here, but every time we come by... Ooh! Holy... Ronald McDonald in the real life flesh, friends. Crazy. Okay. These guys want us to wait in the water camp, so we're gonna make a quick jaunt to Hammerstead. Before they shut up for the night. See if there's any new boys in here. It looks like they're wow. This has gotta be I've never look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven poachers. My god, that's a lot of poachers. It's too bad they're categorically worse. I saw all the salts here. Then archers. More tools, beautiful. Looks like we're completely stocked up now. We're a little bit low on meds, but I'm not gonna buy those ones. That's fine. Seven poachers in a single- ooh! Oh, what the hell is this? Venerable skin? It's a hundred and two- that's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Huh. It's also really cheap, though, is the thing. I mean, I guess it's something like 21 plus 5, so 26 more with 2 less fatigue than the Lamelator. So I guess it's not, like, the worst thing, but do I want to spend 6,000 gold on it? Uh, nope, not even remotely. Okay, time to pay a visit to the Commander, friends. Shipment of arms and armor coming in. If you can manage to take it out, then their army will be far less prepared in the fight for open ground. What the heck is this? Intercept supplies and route from Helfenstein to Lighter's World. Where the heck is Helfenstein? Oh my god, is that far away? 
Okay, we might have to go right into enemy territory to take this one out. Look at that. Super far away. We can hit up Lana's Burg on the way. 13 barbarians, some thralls, some ravens. Oh, you guys are getting chased down. Well, they're fine, though. These guys will wreck those barbarians. Many reavers and a few warhounds. Wow. I think we should take, make a detour here on the way. Will they actually wreck them? No, the company's getting wrecked by the barbarians. Surprising. I thought they'd be fine. Oh, they gave us the high ground, too. Easy game. Ooh, oh, Zach! <laughs> Look at that. Synchronous echo, friends. Oh, Ozark again! <laughs> Woo. Ozark's carrying. Woo! I'm also carrying. <laughs> My god. Apparently I didn't give Sir Sirius his uh, thingy. Speeder back. I have to remember to do that. Oh, Victor. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Didn't even mean to do that. <sighs> easily, peacefully, friends. Easily peasily. Ooh, Brian got ye old promotion. Oh, I thought we got heavy javelins there for some... I saw this and I saw this color, but no. No such luck. All right, to Lonneburg we go. Let's make sure Sir Sirius has his stabby stabs back. Ooh, is Brian finally to the ranks of Nimble? Boy, did that take an unbelievably long time. Like, an unacceptably and unbelievably long time. This morale is super low. It's got to go. Then again, also, I just noticed that maximum range defense. I think we'll go for that instead. All right. So, now that we have yet one more nimble character, let's finally get him into nimble gear, shall we? Boom. Uh, we actually must have sold all of the helms, but I can give him, I think... I don't want to give him a better helm. We actually have literally no more Nimble Helms available. Interesting. All right, let's repair these guys. And... Hmm, 77. I guess he could stick with the whip for now. His Nimble's going to be kind of useless. It's Yeah, it's barely anything with this 255. I guess we could put that on, move him in so we don't have to be uh, super protective. Maybe we'll move Logan over there to give him a little bit of help. I'm not a huge fan of Brian only having 50 head armor, but at the same time, it'll suffice for now. Meanwhile, Victor's like one level away. Let's just make sure he doesn't die on that one level. I'll give him the super heavy armor so he can't do nothing. And that'll work. Silver Reach Speeders and the Lost Legion are both... Who even knows what's going on over here right now? No farmers, no tools, cheap food. To the set. Oh. Join us at the campfire tonight, friend. Never actually seen that event do literally anything. Curious what's in this caravan. Third Helvington Company, fourth Helvington Company. They're all over the place. Gotta be careful when moving into enemy territory. One time speed. Oh, whoa. What the? Uh, <laughs> what? i never seen that before. Literally, as I was there, it switched sides. Go Hulse Almond! All right, now we've got a safe place we can go to and check for hunters. Uh, there's literally no one here because it was just conquered and there's disappearing villagers. Everyone's in low spirits. All right, well, okay. Uh, I guess we have a new base of operations. 
Let's go see what's up with this caravan now. What a freaking mess that was. Um, we haven't seen anyone around these parts. So I think we're gonna get a free boy. Welcome, free boy! Who are you? Are we gonna kick you out? Probably almost immediately. Wow. Wow. Okay. I mean, no, he's terrible. He's a drunkard dayteller who is a pessimist who has... Yeah, he's just not the man for us. Get out of here, buddy. Thanks for showing up, Reinhold. Take some gold and be on your way. Now, what? Whoa! Uh, some hands and a few carts. Okay. I'm tempted to go yoink it just because I can. It's going to be really easy. We'll get a, um, a couple of free loot, so why not? And then we'll hit the next one up. Wow, did we ever rip the, uh, whip the boys. Holy. It's all of, uh, what did we get for this little fiasco? 35 experience, but we got a salt and two meds and a freaking 25 goat cheese, although it has random expired times. Hey, I mean, free food for the road that keeps us on the road longer, right? And it took about six seconds to do. Now, our supply caravan consists of a few arbalesters. Many footmen and a sergeant. All right. I'm up for some uh, slightly more challenging thingies. Let's make sure we're not in the forest because I hate it. Crash the supply caravan. Mmm. Aw, oh, the sergeant has a frigging arming sword, unfortunately. He also has male hauberk we can get. Actually, that might be a footman's armor or something. I can't really tell. I think these are all gambesons. I'm pretty sure it's just... Oh, it has the shoulder pads, though. Hmm. I don't know. Now, these guys actually have armor, and they can sort of try to do some things. And they also have arbalesters somewhere. We see four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That means there's three arbalesters out in the fields. I can move up here and just have fun times with friends, especially if I rip this guy up a smidgy widgy. Of course. Of course, the 74 is just not enough. There it is. Ozark would need to get rotated. So you know what? We're going to do exactly that. Ozark, you're going to have some fun today, I think. I could try to farm this guy's gear if I really wanted to. Uh, Yeah, I think so. Let's go over there and just hold the line for a little while. He does have a crazy sword, but who cares? It's unlikely I'm going to be able to kill this guy. But maybe with a javelin or two first or some nice throwing axes in his face. There we go. Wow, skill from Mark R. I hate this hammer more than it. Ooh, that bow though. That bow though, it's a little scary. Ozark, crash. Okay, nice damage, nice scariness. Gonna need more than that though. And wouldn't you know, the me and Ozark combo. Whew. Crashing footmen like it was 2K19. I'm scared about this bow, though. Evasive maneuvers! Nice job. That was a 37% on Logan. All right, easy game, I'm pretty sure now. Me and Ozark can just wreck these clowns. Uh, <laughs> okay, maybe not. I don't think Logan has battle for it, so I'm going to be very careful what I'm doing over there with him. As far as the pierce, so shield wall with the kite shield all the time. Ozark unfortunately can do nothing because I left him no room. He could come up here and help us farm this boy with Pyriel. It sounds like a fun thing. Yoink! That's gonna take forever. For gear, we don't really need either. Woo! 
Gage off with his head. My god, these poor mans. You know, I'm not sure how much Ozark can really sit here and take this. I think enough if we just taunt with Puriel, so... I'm gonna come up here and help the farming times. Heavy crossbow! Ooh, nice shot on Marakar. Not that we care in the slightest. Off with his head! Nah, he won't be able to do that in one. Will he? Will he? Well, not if we miss a night. Wow! Wow, the Crypt Cleaver. Okay. Go Crypt Cleaver, guys! Beautiful work, Ozark. Easy game. Yoink! Thank you very much, Ozark! And... Uh, that's it. Wow. This is gonna be so... Look at all the headless mayas! <laughs> They're everywhere! Oh my god. This is gonna be so much more fun playing the Noble Wire. I was getting kind of bored of farming, like, raiders and running from raiders and farming... Uh, barbarians and running from barbarians. That's a little bit better. Yeah, it was the reinforced male hauberk. We didn't really need it, but I mean, hey, it's something anyway. Five noble sword, or, uh, yeah. No, arming swords, rather. Not noble swords, sorry. Five arming swords. The heavy crossbow, which would be great if I was using crossbows, but we're not. And, wow. Okay. Fancies. Fancies, fancies. One less problem to deal with, friends. All right, let's take a look at the helmets we were talking about over here with Brian. Like, what are the helmets that we have? This is seven. I suppose that will function for now. This is nine. Let's go for that. Awesome. So nimble at 42. Brian's got a much better helmet. Uh, additionally, who's going to want this reinforced male hauberk? You know what? Um, we don't have Battle Forge yet on Sir Sirius. We're inches away from getting it. Who else was on the front line? Literally nobody. Logan could actually use it. That'll be quite a bit of an upgrade for him. Plus 40, although technically we probably should have given him... Didn't we have another 240? Apparently not. All right, regardless, that's pretty good. Really need some better javelins and throwing axes, but alas, no such luck. This thing is 180 for 13. I suppose that's fine. Everything else is looking fine here. Fine and dandy. Except this helm is actually better than the one Sir Sirius is using, so let's upgrade that. And we could go full house Berenger kite shields for style points, right? I mean, it's better than all this nonsense. Sure. I don't see why not. Just complete upgrade into... Oh, God, that blue is disgusting. I like McDonald's better, to be honest. Let's go full McDonald's shields. My god. Get this hideous monstrosities out of my eyes. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Much better. Anywho's, return to the war camp, friends. Hey, let's hit up Groon Forest in the way, right? No idea what I just... Barbarians. Seven... Many chosen! Hmm... Now, many chosen is not something to be messed around with. Especially when we're at low health and whatnot here. I might... Wow, they are fast. Woo! We needed a hunter and they just recruited one. Mine elf, come on, be the best hunter. This would be the amazing... Are you kidding me? What kind of hunter has skills in melee, melee defense and fatigue? This is so typical of frigging this game. Uh, he's also bright. Well, there you go, I guess. 
Yeah, we don't really want mine off. Get out of here, mine off, you freaking doofus. Whatever. That was kind of silly nonsense, to be honest. I mean, I've been looking for hunters in Grune Forest for, like, literally 106 days. I finally find one. And he's a freaking melee wannabe. These barbarians, I bet, will wreck that company, is my guess. If I can heal up to full, I might take him on. Seven Chosen's crazy, but we can handle it. We have two really good tanks. See how our health is doing on everyone. 59 out of 72 and 57 out of something. Are these guys going after them? No, they're coming after me. That's fine. Hit up the Lonaberg. Seven Chosen is pretty dangerous. At the same time, I'm feeling like we can do it, though. The time is now, friends. Crash! Mmm. Great axe, great axe, great cleaver, great cleaver. Okay. Well, they're all two tiles away, which is fine by me. Oh, never mind. They're no longer all two tiles away, so we can go to town now. Turn done, 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 done. All right, so there's no adrenaline this turn then. We could have Ozark move up, but that is some scary stuff. None of these guys will be able to hit us. This is the only one who can, assuming he could get to us. So here's my plan for this, actually. Let us hold the line with Sabir walls and let them come to this one spot where they can't do anything even if they get there. Meanwhile, we start ripping their armor off. Ooh, beautiful work, Mark R. Logan, just extra shield wall protection. Victor, cross map, javelin, same target. Nope, this one, 58. Woo! Now we're talking. Come on, boys, they're all gonna wait. I'm gonna have to put up my shield walls again. One guy will come here, but then we'll tootle him pretty fast and they'll get scared. That's the strategy. Yep, they wait, we wait. We re spear wall. They charge. They have no shields. They can't shield wall. What are they going to do, actually? Usually the AI will wait, shield wall, and charge. But they don't have any shields. Hmm. I wonder if this is just like the de facto... I think speeders might be the de facto way to handle the Chosen. Meanwhile, we're just like, hey, sup? That's the one place they could go to? Wow. Okay. Well, thing now is... 92. 92, that poor man. What the... 95? This was, this was a good plan, guys. It was a good plan, I swear it. Until all the 95 misses. It was a really good plan. I want to disable this guy down there. 67. I tried. My absolute hardest. Oh, okay. They can move in and then rotate. There we go. We actually didn't miss a spear wall, amazingly. Unbelievable. Get this kill with Ozark. Beautiful. Everyone's confident. Super damage. 89. Oh, God. Gotta tell you, I'm not happy about that guy. That's gonna be a bad guy. Hobo can bonk him away. I'll have to charge back in through the wall. Hero literally can do nothing. Logan also nothing. Sir Sirius nothing. All right, here comes some biggin axes in the head. Also rotates, keep in mind. This, they could be like, chop Ozark, rotate, chop Ozark. So... Let's see. Nope, they went for gauge, rotate. Miss again on a freaking 80. Miss again on an 88. <laughs> yes, that's spear wall, guys. It's really the counter. It's really the counter to all this. <laughs> oh, my God. Off with his head! 
Don't actually hit the- Come on, Gage. Don't actually- You know how, you know how this works. Don't go for the head. My god, man. This guy goes in one turn. Too bad I couldn't rip his armor or, or weapon off, right? Whatever. He can't hit nothing anyway. Easy game. Okay, this is what we do. Ozark. Nice work. What is the pike going to be? It's going to be enough. Beautiful. Victor doesn't have any fatigue whatsoever. I'm a little bit worried. Nah, I'll be fine. I got I got lots of stuff going on here. Uh, Logan, on the other hand, however, does not have lots of stuff going on. I'm gonna have to move Hobo up, taunt this dope. Whoo! Sir Sirius is seriously wounded right now. Shield wall it is. You know what? I'm actually gonna rotate him out, because if he gets double hit, never mind the shield wall. He would, he would actually bleed to death. Speaking of, I need to check bandages after this if we're gonna fight Chosen. With all these cleavers. Woo! Right on gauge. That was as expected. Right over here. Come on, Brian. Hits freaking something with your stupid whippy snap. Uh, kind of want to rotate again now. <laughs> okay. If I get this kill, I can go for that one as well. So I'm going to wait. Gage, if you'd be so kind. A little softening. Oh. Bloody hell, I didn't want to kill him. I wanted to play with him a little bit. I think Hobo has that taunted. Yep. He's fine. Gotta keep the taunt up on the hobo. Well. These guys aren't scary. Who said they were scary? You kidding me? They're scared of me. If that's what you meant, maybe you misspoke? I don't know. Easy, guys. Easy, guys. All they do is dies. Why is everyone so scared of easy, guys? My god. Look at them fall down. I can't even take two attacks. He's so tired now. Can't even take one attack. He's so tired now. Now he's getting whipped. He's so easy. We're just whipping him into shape. Oh, look at him try to run away. There it is, friends. That wasn't too bad. Uh, Victor got a promotion. Ooh, we picked up 190 close scrap metal helmet, 160 crude face guard. We picked up a heavy rusty axe. I don't even know if that's really good. Rusty water blade, cleaver two-handed. Interesting. Two-handed skull hammers, all this doohickeys and whatnot. Looks good. Now here's the real question. How does that axe... Well, I guess I won't be able to compare it to a regular axe, but let's compare the cleaver to the cleaver, though, right? Do we get a big cleaver or no? Or do we just get a little cleaver? We got the big cleaver. Okay, so the one we have is 65 to 85. This is 60 to 80, so five less damage. This is 25 ignore. Theirs is 35 ignore. So, interesting. Five less damage, but 10 more appears. 115 effective versus armor, 110. So it's less effective. Who cares about that? Uh, more pierce, which could actually be better. Maximum fatigue 16, maximum fatigue 18. 
It's the same abilities as far as I can tell. 0 to 28 can ignore armor. 0 to 21 can ignore armor. Interesting. So even though it does less... Well, the decapitate, 60 to 160, 65 to 170. So technically, I think that's worth it. 412, 415. This is 412, 415. It's, it's very similar. Uh, I guess it kind of depends, really. Uh, what you're going for. I'm going for finishers, so decapitates better. If you were going for openers, it, oftentimes I do go for openers too, so I'm not sure. But yeah, let's get all this stuff prepared to sell it for an unbelievable profit when we get back. Woo! Wow. Didn't realize I had that much stuff to repair. I don't know how much this stuff is worth when it's fully repaired. All right. Looking pretty good. We see nothing. Let's just hit the water camp, and that's the episode. Oh, bandages. I forgot about bandages. We need to make sure... Here's a bandage. We need to make sure someone has a bandage. So Brian M. can have one. Ideally, I was going to give Gene bags and belts, but he hasn't gotten it yet. Also... Ooh, did Victor... Did Victor get the nimble? Is that two nimbles this episode, Freds? Fantastic. We are in such a more survivable place now. All we need is Logan to get battle forged in 500 experience. And where the heck is Sirius? Oh, here he I couldn't see him. He's like camouflage. He needs like another 700 and he'll be in the same boat. All right, rest well for tomorrow the battle awaits, friends. And wouldn't you know, literally tomorrow plus one day the battle awaits. Until the future, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. I don't think Ozark even has recovered, so 20% chance. For there it is, he done got bumped, friends. 20%. <laughs> I don't know if Ozark's ready. I don't know if he's fit for the challenge. Now he's getting punched in the noggin. Why, why am I making this part of the episode? This is literally, this could be a one second scene. <laughs>